Hello and welcome to another World of Warcraft guide. This time it's going to be about gearing up in patch 5.4 and this will cover um, either alt characters or just brand new players to the game. So first let's talk about alt characters. If you are a new player I will talk about stuff later on in the video. So first of all what you want to do is on your main character go to the Timeless Isles. There you can get 496 items which are bound on account. These will drop from elite mobs, chests and can be purchased for 7500 timeless coins. If you want more details just check out my full Timeless Isles guide. This gear can be posted down to your new alt. So after getting the Timeless Isles stuff you can buy some gear. There are 522 and 496 legs um, and boots which can be purchased off the auction house. Now this isn't very efficient money wise so if you're quite wealthy then perhaps it's okay and um, otherwise just buy it if the price is right. After this you should start thinking about doing heroic scenarios and the old seer quest line. The old seer will reward 516 boots and your first heroic scenario will give you a definite 516. Subsequent heroic scenarios will give you a chance of getting a 516. To get started with these quests you will Probably when you go into your faction's Vale City, you'll get a quest to talk to Lord Walker Cho. He'll give you a few different quests which used to reference Battlefield Barons, but since that's being removed, uh, they just make you do a few heroic scenarios and then give you the Old Seer quest. The Old Seer quest is easily soloable, and uh, just do that, get your 516, and start queuing up for the heroic scenarios. Now there have been a whole bunch of alterations to the currencies in Patch 5.4. The patch 5.0 and 5.1 reputation vendors now sell their epics which range in my item level from uh, 476 to 496 for justice points and they also require no reputation. Justice points can be quick uh, justice points if I can speak right can be quickly obtained by doing looking for dungeons. And uh, it's a pretty quick way to pad out your item level and get any pieces that you're missing. Now Valor Points are best spent on the Shadow Pan Offensive initially. The Shadow Pan Offensive rewards 522 epics and their Valor Point cost has been reduced by 34% and the rep requirement is down to friendly. Now to get up to friendly you will just need to do one or two runs of the looking for uh, the looking for raid of um, Throne of Thunder and that will get your reputation up to friendly which will be enough to buy all the different kinds of gear. However, you know they are 34% off but there's a lot of it and it would take quite a while to get a full set of that. So a combination of those above steps will get you lots of gear and pretty much without even having to step into LFR. So your gear level by doing these steps will be high enough to enter the Throne of Thunder looking for raid. This rewards 502 epics and some valor points. Depending on how things go you might even be able to enter the Siege of Orgrimmar LFR although you'll probably need to do, well you'll definitely need to do some of Throne of Thunder first. If you're really having item level problems, you could always try out doing some of the old 5.0 LFRs, but honestly I don't really think it's worth it. And um, The Siege of Orgrimmar LFR offers uh, item level 528 gear by the way. Now you can also get further item level 535 gear on the Timeless Isles by, doing the, uh, by acquiring these items called Burdens of Eternity. These, um, this one will be kind of hard to get um, because they're pretty rare and they're hard to come by. But what they do is they turn one of your 496 tokens into an item level 535. Now the Burns of Eternity can be purchased for 50,000 Timeless Coins um, and there's a few other ways you can get them. The best bet though is just to check out my Timeless Isles guide and I'll talk about it fully there. Now after you have a full set of Shadow Pan of uh, Salt slash better gear you'll be able to start using your Valor Points to upgrade your best pieces. I'd only recommend upgrading stuff that you don't think you'll replace in a while after that or perhaps even towards the end of uh, these steps you should actually be able to start doing flexible raids at the very least perhaps even normals depending on your guild so that's it this is what i believe to be the most streamlined way for someone to level up an alt now if you're a new player there are a few extra steps that you'll have to do at the beginning and i'm just going to talk about those now so there's a few extra things and uh, these are that you'll probably have pretty bad gear from questing. Initially you will want to do the Arena of Annihilation scenario, just the normal mode. This will give you an item level 450 weapon which is a very nice kickstart to your gear. Um, it'll just help you with damage and you know weapons usually have quite a lot of stats. It's very good. Now after running a few scenarios you should have enough uh, justice points to buy either an epic or some of the item level. 458 blues which have recently been discounted by 75%. These are purchasable from the various factions across Pandaria. Um, I'd recommend searching for them on Wohead, Wopedia or installing the Atlas Loot add-on. These will list the names of the items, the prices and where you can pick them up. It's much easier than me going through like all of them. That would take ages and ages. 
So after you do this, you should be able to enter heroic dungeons via the looking for dungeon tool. Your first dungeon a day will give you some bonus valor points, um, and you'll also just get plenty of justice, some valor, stuff like that. It's all good. Now before you jump in, I would actually recommend going to Conlai Summit and doing the Proven Grounds. Um, at least if you can complete the silver difficulty, perhaps even the gold, then you're definitely good to go and it just means you won't gimp, uh, gimp the other people in your group. Essentially the Proving Grounds just it sort of reinforces the basics of playing your role. Now once you do looking for dungeons, you'll pretty much have the same you know, sources of gear that I said the earlier part of the sort of previous thing. So what you want to do is after that, just keep on doing this stuff, buy epics from the different vendors by getting valor through doing a daily a daily heroic scenario, uh, sorry, a daily uh, heroic dungeon and at least a daily scenario. This will start getting you up some valor points and it'll also get you some justice points. Use that justice to buy the 4762496 epic tokens, sorry, epic gear, which you can get off the various Pandaria factions. You will have seen these while you were going around getting your 458s. And after that, you're able to start doing LFR, heroic scenarios, the old seer quest line. Really, once you get past the initial hump of doing, uh, looking for dungeons and normal scenarios, you're really, you know, you're all on the up. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments, though this is probably a lot of information to take in, especially for a new player, and I'm more than happy to help. These videos seem to be quite popular, the last one I did got like 15,000 views, which is really awesome, so yeah, I'm happy to help. Anyway, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing, the reason I say is just because it really does help me out a lot being a relatively small YouTuber, and that's really it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.